Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my intuition, I'm Dr. Prasad Tutilam. Continue my class series for the subject uh, Biology for Engineers, uh, which is with subject code 21B45, which is common to all four semester uh, branches of VTU Karnataka. So, this is the fifth and last uh, video of this particular chapter uh, Enzymes. All that remaining uh, four class videos already uploaded to my YouTube channel. I uh, can go through that, and uh, the notes are also available. PDF notes are also available. Uh, can contact me at uh, my WhatsApp number seven nine seven five zero five four eight six five. Okay, so enzymes. Uh, enzymes actually they are proteins only. Uh, which is already discussed. The proteins already discussed in previous class. But enzymes are particular protein which are uh, used as a catalyst mainly. They speed up the rate of a chemical reaction without being consumed in a process that we call as the catalyst. Okay, so enzymes are they are catalyst because they are very specific to a type of reaction which they catalyzed and they bind to a specific substrate to facilitate the reaction. You might have seen, studied this uh, key lock mechanism which we, we say in case of uh, enzymes whenever it comes. We use the key lock mechanism. Say, example, an enzyme molecule is represented like that. A substrate, the one which you want to react, which will be taken up by the enzyme there, where the uh, process speed up, the breaking takes place, it into convert into two different uh, products. So just schematically represented here, may not be that always a substrate come, it breaks into two product. Sometimes uh, two substrate come, they will combine and make other product. So different type of uh, reactions which will be uh, speed up because uh, here inside that enzyme molecule they create a atmosphere so that they will uh, react. So therefore it is also it is important uh, in uh, metabolic pathways, digestion and uh, the cell respiration everything uh, the enzymes show uh, very profound uh, usage. Properties of enzyme for everyday applications uh, because the enzymes they are having very specificity they are very specific to a substrate molecule, they will bind and uh, that reaction only takes place. Other unwanted chemical reactions will not take place. Reactivity, they increase the rate of chemical reaction without being consumed in the process, which allow them to perform multiple cycles of the same reaction. Okay, it can same can be used. No need to change completely, no need to produce a new enzyme. Once the enzyme is there, it will be continuously giving the work. It will be taking the substrate uh, converting to product. Stability. Enzymes are generally stable at uh, a wide range of temperature and uh, the pH values, making them useful in variety of industrial process. Renewability. Uh, enzymes are biodegradable and can be produced from renewable resources, uh, making them environmental friendly alternative to traditional chemical catalyst. Cost effectiveness. They are uh, comparatively uh, produced in large quantities and uh, uh, by the process called as fermentation. Therefore, they are very cost effective as an alternative to the synthetic catalyst uh, which is used, petroleum based catalyst as well. There. So, enzyme can be an alternative, a best cost effective, renewable, stable, highly reactive and too specific uh, alternative to the uh, petroleum based uh, catalyst. Applications in engineering, uh, engineers should know about the applications of uh, these enzymes like uh, they are used in bio remedi uh, remeditation, remeditation uh, means uh, uh, removing or breaking the pollutants uh, which are uh, non-biodegradable, break down into a degradable one uh, so that uh, it will uh, will not create a pollution like oils, pesticides, toxic waste, which can be broken down to smaller molecules uh, so that uh, it will not create a toxic toxicity to the environment. Uh, that's a train. Huh? Uh, biofuel production. Uh, biofuel production enzymes are used to convert uh, the plant material into biofuels uh, like uh, ethanol. Uh, biodiesel etc. So for that also enzymes are used to speed up the reaction. It is used in food and beverage production, uh, food, food and beverage industry for processing uh, like baking, brewing, uh, cheese making, uh, juice production and all. Uh, to large amount if you want to produce enzymes can be used to speed up the reaction. Textile production enzymes are used to remove stains. Uh, 
the, uh, and uh, the white and to make the fabric uh, colored uh, clear surface improve the softness of the textiles enzymes are used detergents enzymes are used in uh, laundry detergents to break down protein starch liquid stain etc also used in pharmaceuticals uh, like enzymes are used in production of various pharmaceutical products such as antibiotic uh, vaccines or uh, this generation also antibiotic generation vaccine generation also enzyme can be used to speed up the reaction all the biotechnology research mainly they focused on using enzymes uh, uh, they use tools in genetic engineering protein engineering molecular biology etc as biosensor glucose oxide is one of the uh, enzyme which is used as in biosensor before i took a image copyrighted image actually uh, from uh, one of the research paper uh, to which indicate uh, all the different types of biosensors not only the different uh, detectors uh, different transducers also mentioned there so different analytes uh, based on different analyte it may be a dna it may be a molecule it may be a, a complex molecule whatever it may be therefore we can use different uh, recognizing uh, uh, detecting elements uh, like antibody can be used uh, separately enzyme can be used separately microorganism can be used dna can be used some cells can be used as a detector so all that included in one single uh, image not that uh, all that uh, biosensors having all these no uh, everything uh, individual uh, biosensors can be made and different transducers can be used based on the uh, whatever the element which is used as a detector it may be an electrochemical change when they detect when they interact with uh, the a sensing element and the uh, did, uh, the sample it may produce some electrochemical reaction some uh, en uh, energy generation electron movement of possibilities we call it as electrochemical or it may be some color change so optical uh, transducers can be used or it may increase the pressure or it may increase the weight so mechanical uh, transducers can be used and finally read out amplified and uh, giving the final result the sensing so this is schematic representation of the working of different biosensors okay now uh, biosensor for uh, uh, glucose oxidase as a biosensor or in biosensor to detect the oxygen content biosensors are analytical device which combine a biological recognizing element with a transducer to detect and quantify the target analysis the biological recognition element can be an enzyme it can be an antibody or nucleic acid or other biological molecules that specifically interacts with the target analyte the transducer converts the biological response into an electrical signal which can be quantified and interrupted okay so biosensors uh, biosensors have a wide range of applications in the field of medicine environmental monitoring food safety it can be used to monitor blood glucose level uh, patients with diabetes uh, contaminants in water and food uh, monitoring environmental pollution by sensors have several advantages over traditional analytical method including a rapid uh, response time high sensitivity high specificity high uh, it is very easy to carry or portability is there. additionally they can be designed to be Uh, disposable and the cost effective making them useful to tool in various industrial applications different enzymes which are used in biosensors so one itself it is there in the title itself uh, that is 1.5.1 subheading glucose oxidase so different other different uh, enzymes which are used like glucose oxidase one of the sensor which is used to uh, sense the glucose level i think by mistake i said oxygen sensing something it is used for the glucose sensing Uh, my mistake uh, lactase oxidase is also used it is actually used as a bio bleaching also uh, cholinesterase then uh, alkaline phosphate urease these are some of the examples which are commonly used and uh, being studied and modified and we, what are they are uh, sensing what what are they are used for uh, what sensing application they are used that also mentioned here okay so uh, just a few example of many enzyme which can be used in biosensor to detect and quantify wide range of target analyze glucose oxidase in biosensor that is a topic actually the other one these are all introduction uh, to get the idea different uh, um, uh, sensors what are biosensors how they detect uh, all those to get an rough idea i in included there in the note 
So Geo X or Geo Glucose Oxidase is an enzyme which is commonly used as, as a biosensor. Uh, uh, when it uh, sends the glucose or when it uh, glucose comes near to that, uh, reaction takes place with this uh, glucose oxidase uh, with the glucose uh, and it will be glucose will be converted into gluconol or lactone, uh, a product of uh, glucose uh, and uh, hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so schematically it is represented, not so exact image. Uh, the three dimensional image which is available in uh, many research papers that I took from one of the research paper. Uh, uh, this is the representation of that molecule glucose oxidase GOX through which uh, when uh, the glucose which is the substrate which we want to uh, measure or sense when the glucose comes and contact with that uh, it will react uh, and uh, use the product as a gluconolactone as well as a hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so this structure it consists of uh, FID that is flavin uh, adenine uh, dinucleotide as well as carbohydrate chain is there that complex mixture we call it as uh, glucose oxidase. Okay, so this reaction when this reaction takes place uh, that produces an electrochemical uh, uh, reaction this is an electrochemical reaction that will be dictated by the element of which base element present there. So that will be amplified and it will give uh, whether glucose was present there how much quantity of glucose is present everything uh, will be immediately uh, the result will be shown by the instrument device okay so advantages of biosensor okay how to make that glucose biosensor it is immobilized or it is it is kept in on a substrate uh, or which is a polymeric film uh, to which it is attached uh, to get better stability and specificity a transducer uh, uh, present uh, is an electrode uh, which is fluorescence based system or uh, it depends upon the desired level of sensitivity and specificity okay. generally it is mentioned advantages is they are having high sensitivity they are having high specificity very rapid response time uh, it is portable uh, glucose sensor and having a uh, cost effectiveness these are the advantages limitations as well there stability uh, having some com some uh, environmental conditions, uh, high temperature or uh, high uh, drastic pH conditions, highly acidic, highly basic pH conditions. Uh, the element uh, used, geo, it get, get uh, degraded. Uh, it causes some interferences. Calibration issues are there. We need to keep on calibrate the instrument. Shelf life is limited. We cannot keep this uh, sensor device for a long time. Complexity. Yeah, it is very uh, complex to manufacture and use uh, specialized equipment required, uh, specialized expert required to prepare this particular bio sensor. But despite all this, we are, it is, has been used as a, as a valuable tool in uh, various industries and applications for glucose sensing. Next subtopic that is lignolytic enzymes which is used in bio bleaching. Uh, the, what is bio bleaching? It is mentioned here. Bleaching means removal of the color. Bio bleaching means uh, using biological uh, agents to, to remove the color uh, and brighten the fiber or paper and uh, textiles. Advantages of bio bleaching compared to chemical bleaching. There are chemical bleaching also there to remove the color. Usually we bleach our uh, shirt uh, or cloth material uh, to change the color uh, or if any stain is there to remove that for bleaching. Bio bleaching can be done in place of a chemical bleaching. Therefore, what are the advantages? It has got uh, sustainability. It has got improved product quality uh, compared to traditional chemical bleaching. Uh, reduced energy consumption. Uh, no, no need to uh, make it uh, uh, heat uh, or uh, no need to add extra uh, extra energy on that. Uh, enzyme, if it is there, uh, it will start reacting. Whereas chemical uh, cases, we may have to increase the temperature. Uh, to control that uh, pH, uh, everything is there. Uh, here reduced energy consumption, those energy, extra energy consumption not required. Elimination of hazardous chemicals, uh, there is no formation of hazardous chemicals uh, from that. Uh, low production of harmful byproducts, uh, very less uh, byproducts are formed, means harmful byproducts are formed. Limitations, uh, uh, the enzyme production, uh, the enzyme which is used that is uh, Lignolytic enzyme mainly. The enzyme production is uh, high, okay. high cost. Cost of uh, production is high. 
efficient compared to chemical bleaching the efficiency is not that much good um, further research required many people need to do register for phd and do the research no need to do rest of phd can do research as such many interested people who are interested to work on that is required because still few more optimization required lack of widespread implementation it is not widely used the for if it is widely used then more more research will be going on and it will be coming up with so what are these lignolytic uh, uh, enzymes they are lactases peroxidases manganese peroxides so examples are given lactases are copper containing oxidases which catalyzes oxidation of lignin a complex polymer found in the plant cell wall and other compounds such as phenol arevacol those can be removed or uh, degraded therefore that color will disappear peroxidases are enzymes that uses hydrogen peroxide to oxidize organic compounds those organic compounds giving the color so changing the color manganese peroxidase is an enzyme uh, which is uses uh, hydrogen peroxide to oxidize uh, lignin and other compounds so this uh, lignolytic enzyme used in bio bleaching are typically produced by the fungus or bacteria fungi and bacteria they are mobilized on the support such as ceramic bead and uh, cellulosic matrix it is on ceramic or on uh, cellulose uh, sheet uh, their uh, support kept uh, this enzymes to ensure the stability and prolonged activity the immobilized enzymes are then added to the fiber they are catalyzes the oxidation of the colored impurities resulting the brighter and more uniform color that's about uh, uh, enzymes uh, enzymes for uh, bio sensors as well as bio bleaching uh, and that is the end of this uh, chapter or end of the unit 1 bio molecules and their applications uh, more uh, uh, can be added so i'll be giving one more uh, one or two more lecture videos uh, based on chapter 1 including uh, some of the uh, level 3 level 4 uh, questions and the answers uh, there i will try to include more information than which is given here so please do subscribe to my youtube channel my intuition uh, uh, you can search at my intuition 4865 you will get my youtube channel with the logo of this mi okay please do subscribe to my youtube channel support me with that uh, Uh, circulate this class video to other your class class uh, classmates or friends of a four semester uh, any branch and support me thank you once again